Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create an augmented reality Plato Unity app for iOS. For this, we use the well known AR SDK Vuforia, and you also need an iOS device. At the beginning, I will keep showing you how to set up the Plato Unity project. If you have already seen this in my previous videos and you want to skip it, just jump to this time. Then I will quickly showing you how to create an AR scene and how to set up the SDK in order to make things work. So let's begin. At first we need to download the Flat Unity widget from this repository, as usual. And we can find the example project and the Unity example below the Unity folder here. The project name is demo app. And once we have added it or opened it in the Unity Hub and selected the version, we can we can load this project. Yeah, that's that's alright. Once we open this, we can open the scene which we want to see or edit. This is the sample scene in this case, and now we have to modify the build platform. We have to switch it to iOS in the build settings. You just have to select the iOS and do the switch platform. As you could see, all the related scenes are included to the build, so now we can do the Flutter build. This will produce a Unity library, uh, and this is what we need. So we can now do a Flutter pub get and the pod install in this uh, Flutter project. So let's just navigate to the example and um, do the Flutter pub get. Oh yeah, I don't have added it to the pass, so I just uh, call it directly, just a sec, just like this. Once it's done, we can navigate to the iOS folder and do a pod install. After the successful pod install, we can open the Xcode and the workspace project within the iOS folder. It's called Runner, but just to be sure, I open it again. This one, yes. We can trust this. And there are two things we have to <coughs> make sure are correctly set up. One is the data folder uh, target membership. We have to uncheck this Unity iPhone. And one is the signing and capabilities tab. Yeah, we, with this we have added the framework, and we have just uh, we have to just modify the signing to be able to build to your real device. You may need to modify the bundle ID, but that's all right. You can do it with a free account. And now if I build this project and run on my phone, you can see that's, uh, that's loading and we can see the simple Unity demo project. We can even rotate the little cube. So now we are at the point where the Unity integration is working. You can you could see the cube is rotating. So now we have to integrate the Vuforia plugin and set up the AR scene. For this, at first, we need to navigate to the Vuforia site and sign up. It's a free thing to do uh, for debug purposes. So you can do a, do create a little account, and then you can create a license in the license manager, just like I'm doing it now. Um, when the license is there, what we need, what we will need from here is the license key itself. You can see it here, and we now need to download the Vuforia Unity package, and then we need to import it to the Unity project. Uh, we can just import the package, custom package, and select what we have just downloaded. Yeah, that's all right. Let's just press the import button 
And now we have Euphoria included into our project. And what that mean is, means is that we can add, uh, for example, an AR camera to the scene. Um, I just create a new scene called Euphoria AR, just to have a empty project and uh, delete the main camera because we won't need this one. But we can add a Euphoria IAR camera, a plane finder, and a ground plane in order to make this thing work. What we doing here is we generate a ground plane where we have to put our things and the plane finder will actually place this ground, ground plane into the real world. And for example, I now attach a cube to it and uh, I create a little material for the cube as well. So it's uh, more exciting. And what we need to do is to make sure that we added the license for the Euphoria, just the one that I showed you before. We have to enter it here. You can also navigate to this site uh, with the unlicense button. And now we have to set up the plane finder to make sure that it, when it finds a plane and we press no, press on the screen, then it uh, positions the ground plane to the proper uh, position. We just need to set this up and I uncheck the duplicate stage. That means that whenever I press the screen, it will instantiate a new uh, cube there. So you can see it recognizes this ground plane. This is a test ground plane, by the way. You can download it from the Euphoria site and uh, this is for debugging and testing, since you cannot really find a plane with your webcam. Let's just make this uh, little red cube a bit smaller and maybe position it a bit upper. Okay, so now let's include our scene into the build, just like this. We can close this now. And let's do a Flutter iOS export. Once the export is done, we can uh, modify a little bit our sample scene uh, on the Flutter part to have a nicer UI for this. can navigate to the sample scene. Here is it. And just uh, comment out this uh, overlaying stuff. These are the rotate the cube things that you have seen previously. And I just renamed this. Of course, this is not a necessary tab just to make it uh, more clear. And now we can open the project in Xcode. And what we need to do is, uh, is the usual uh, data Unity iPhone membership unchecking. And uh, we need to go to the runner project and to the general tab and uh, make sure that we include the Euphoria and the AR uh, framework. We can navigate to the Unity library and the frameworks, Fufuri engine, Fufuri plugins, iOS, and you can include those two. These are all necessary to be able to use the Fufuri framework. And set up the signing again if you miss that. And we can now run this little project. And as you can see, it's loading up. When I open the Unity, I hopefully, oh yeah, don't forget to 
to include the camera usage description to the info that the playlist in the runner project because then you will get this nice little arrow just add the row and uh, it will be privacy camera or something like that yeah this one and we can just set up a description for this let's let's try it again So hopefully it will work now. You can click on the simple uh, sample and you can see that it's uh, already recognizing my desk as a plane and I can place the little cube on it. It's matching the height of the desk very well and it's uh, very quick. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video and if you like this content please don't forget to press the like button and maybe the subscribe as well and uh, see you next time bye bye